Hello beautiful people, welcome to my short video for today. I discovered a problem with uh, the submit ad page, so I'm here to fix that error. After the 4.06 update, I discovered it was difficult to submit a new ad. In the sense that when you click submit ad, like you can see on my screen, And as a custom demands, you click on a category. But before then, take a look at my address. There is nothing after this slash. But the moment I click on category, I have this added to my address, meaning there is no link. So how do I fix this? It's simple. I head over to my back end. Then go to pages. Remember, the problem is with the submit ad page. So I will go to all pages and uh, I have to do something about the submit ad page. Classera team comes with two submit ad page templates or pages. So what I need is go back to my pages, then locate the submit ad page, which is this and this. A simple fix is to quick edit then go to template what I have here is submit add which is a broken uh, template so I need to go select the second template so this is one I have currently I select the second one and I say update So now let's go see if uh, everything is alright. So coming back here, I click on submit ad once again. Then allow it to load. Then this time, I've chosen the full width page. So the moment I click on category, for example, nothing displays here. And uh, my subcategories are seen here. So right now, I can go ahead and uh, make my post choosing my category and my subcategory. Now, after every update, it's uh, important to go through your site to see if everything is working and check for any broken link or anything at all. I upgraded my team to version 4.06 and since then, I've been having little uh, problem here and there. The first issue I experienced was uh, my inability to add new or submit a new ad. I've tried to fix that in the previous video. So if you're having that issue, check the previous video for the solution. Now here is another one. After this same upgrade, I went to categories and to discover that uh, my categories are all gone 
I started uh, fixing them back or I decided to make a video and bring this to your notice so that you can always come to check these places after an upgrade or update. So how do we fix this? It's very easy and go to post categories. So we come to electronics for example we want to add an icon for electronics so what we do is we come over to this place and we search for electronics and say search categories And that is my electronics so I'm gonna edit it clicking on edit so I kind of have a very slow internet connection so we go down and here is where we place the icon code this particular field so how do we get the code to paste here we simply click on font awesome open that on a new tab so how do we get the codes for icon here we simply uh, right click on this and open on a new tab when we arrive here I'm going to search for the icon electronics or something close to that. Now we are, have uh, three options here which two of these belongs to the pro so i'm going to take this i'm going to click on it to open and it's going to display the code and when you look at this place you see everything within this uh, quote is what I'm going to copy so say click to copy copy that then go back to my categories where we ed edited with the electronics then I'm going to paste this here and remove this from the port and uh, do the same thing here and that's that so what i do is now i click on update so let's go back to all categories and try to refresh this page and uh, that is the icon now there's something i want you to to note in one of my uh, previous videos i showed you how to upload these icons and use as um, your category icons but uh, due to frequent updates from Glacera, there's been changes, and uh, the changes sometimes could be taking us back from where we're coming from. So, like I said, Glacera is still not a complete team, 
so until this thing gets to an extent whereby we can call it a full-fledged thing like uh, at forest until that time we still have to face challenges here and there now here is what I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do right now from my back end I go to plus area options then here on layout manager font awesome icons are selected and that is the reason why we have this kind of icons from my uh, previous videos if we select this it means we're gonna use our custom made images as icon so when I choose the option I save then this is supposed to display as our icon so I'm still gonna try that right now and see if uh, there's been a change since the 4.0.6 update so I go back to my categories I reload and so can you see the default um, icons we're supposed to have icons so if this if this is a bug Glacera will have to fix this so until they fix this I might be tempted to go with font awesome and say save so when I go back here I can then see my font awesome icons and use them for the meantime until there is another update or until I contact Clasera about this uh, error or bug so that is the font awesome which you can make use of right now until we hear from a uh, Clasera thank you for watching this video and have a very nice day